Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another top 10 list. This time we're talking about the top 10 best toy reveals of the week. This may be a recurring video. If you guys enjoy it, let me know. Let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to go through all the reveals that did not make the top 10 and did not make honorable mention so we can be aware of what was revealed this week so stay tuned and we'll get to the honorable mentions and the top 10 but here we go so first off let's talk about the dino megazord by flame toys and they're going in collaboration with hasbro to give this sucker so here is a nice mock-up image of what it's going to look like maybe so real excited for this Next, from Cyberpunk 2077, somebody found a Takamura figure out and about. I've never seen this figure before from McFarland. Disney new Talking Wolverine figure has a look and feel of an old Toy Biz one. So check this sucker out with the box here. And there's the back of the figure, all those screws, and like I said, it has sound effects in it. From Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Target exclusive. NECA 2-pack with the Rat King and Vernon. Here are the end package images of this. So here's the front and the rear of the package. And here's both sides of the package showing Rat King on one side and Vernon on the other. With Todd McFarlane. Gave us all kinds of Mortal Kombat reveals here. Here are the uh, variants of Liu Kang with the shirt off and the yellow pants. Front and back of the package. Show the figure stand, the different hands, the nunchucks. Here's the front, back, and rear of that figure. Here he is in action and up close. You have the Cabal figure, first time we've seen Cabal in this line. Front, back, of the package. You see his two weapons there. Figure stand as well. Front, back, side of that figure. Close up of him. And then you have the Noob Sabat. Front and back of the package, you see the one weapon he comes with, and the figure stand as well. First time we've seen him in this wave as well. Front and back side of this figure. A little close up of that face and him in action. And then you have the variant, silver variant of the Shao Kahn. Front and back of the package, comes with this hammer. And with the base, of course. Front back side of the figure. In action, up close. So here's all four of those in package. A new yellow effect we're getting on these new Mortal Kombat waves. So it looks like that original release, Shao Kahn, and the gold armor is going to have a variant. You'll notice the silver label down at the bottom corner from McFarlane and it is a blood variant so you look at the hammer, look at the chest, and you look at the hands you'll see all that blood on him. And here is the Sub-Zero Winter Purple Skin in package. First time we've seen this. And then we got the Greta the Gremlin in package images here today. There's the front, back, and the side of that package. And also the inside of the package with the flip open Velcro connector there. From NECA TMNT, we also have some more reveals of, or better pictures, I should say, of Genghis the Frog and Rasputin the Mad Frog. So here they are in action. And here's some better images of the all the weapons and accessories they're coming with. Both have turtle communicators, little baby frogs, different face sculpts, weapons. Then we have Mondo Gecko with Kerma. 
And we have Muckman with Joe Eyeball. And as you see, Muckman comes with a different set of lips there, or teeth. And looks like he also comes with some slime. And then we have from Anime Heroes, Naruto Namikaze Minato figure from Bandai. There he is in action. And then from Transformers, we have the model kit Shattered Glass Drift from Flame Toys. All kinds of images of him in action with his swords. And then Funko Fair Star Wars products revealed. We have the Amazon exclusive series Luke Skywalker with a pen. You have the Mandalorian Mystery Minis. And then you also have some bobblehead concept shown, and then the Star Wars pop pins and Funko Pop Star Wars Mandalorian keychains. So Flame Toys is giving us a couple more for their model kits here, 40 to 50 dollar range for the Fury models here of the GI Joe Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. So those look pretty awesome. And jumping into GI Joe Classified, got some more repaints of that series one so this one's a very tough repaint to, to recognize the original had that little red line over the visor the new one does not have that red line on over it also another way to tell the difference is with the packaging uh, in the original there was a knife right there beside the sword and the new packaging on the right hand side here you'll see the knife is actually in the sheath on this side so duke we said last week was getting a repaint so here is that repaint Notice the shin guards don't have that blue lines on them. That's about it. The gun is different as well. And here is the original two repaints of the Scarlet and the Roadblock. There's a nice comparison of the Scarlet. You can tell with the face especially because there's a lot more paint on the face and the hair is a darker red. And then with the pants you'll see the brown versus the gray. Jumping into Transformers Red from Hasbro. These are the non-transforming Transformers. The RC and the Cheetor were found out in the wild. Here's the official images of the front of the packages. And here's something of the back for RC. And some kind of blurry images of all the accessories they come with. And a nice image of them themselves. But here is Bumblebee, what we would call Series 3, I guess, in package, loose with all those accessories. Back of the package for him and both the Coronation Starscream from the 86 movie. And then front of the package of Starscream and him loose with his accessories and his cape and his crown. Fans Hobby Master Build MB13 Ace Hitter or Ghost Shooter. This is third party Transformer. Transformers Rescue Bots Academy Classic Heroes Team Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. So here's Bumblebee. There he is in package. There's Prime. And here he is in package. Dr. Wu's Workshop. Chatter sets, unofficial squat box. These are third party transformers as well. So here's Chatter DWP 51. You can merge them together. You see the purple bottle on top and the green on the bottom. And then there are separate. P51 is the purple one at the top. He's like the gorilla. And then you get the green one or blue one, which is like the bird of some sort. There they are in Soundwave. Ejecting from Soundwave. Here's a different version of it, the DWP-51B, which is the black version. There he is as a gorilla and a bird in the black form. And here's P-51M in a blue and yellow. So there's the gorilla on the right. There's the bird, there's cassettes. So new Deadpool 30th Anniversary, Infinity Warps, and Street Art Collections, Stanley Pop, 
vinyl figures from Funko. So these are the Infinity Warps. Pretty awesome mixtures or collaborations of different figures. Certain one of them are only at Target, only at GameStop. Some are glow in the dark. Some are at Walmart. There's one jumbo size it looks like. Amazon exclusive, Hot Topic exclusive. Here are the Deadpool ones. Just going to touch base on a couple of them. You got the Dino Pool. You got the LARP Pool, Ballerina Pool, Sherlock Deadpool, Grilling Deadpool, Birthday Deadpool. A couple variants of that one. Happy Birthday Deadpool. You got one of them's online GameStop exclusive, Hot Topic exclusive, and Walmart exclusive. Then you have the Lucha Libre editions of the Funko Fair, plush animals or plush figures. You have the Falcon and Winter Soldier Funko Fairs. And here is that street art. Captain America, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Spider-Man, and of course Stan the Man Lee. Here's some of the Miles Morales. There's a glow in the dark that's going to be a GameStop exclusive. Uh, one of him hanging upside down with his toboggan on is a Hot Top exclusive. There's a limited chase version of him with his mask off. Got the new look of the Battle World Mystery of the Thanos Stones. You got the WandaVision Pops. A couple of them there is a GameStop exclusive. There's a Chase Edition as well. You got the Super 7 teasing the new My Pet Monster Max figure. You can see his arm there with a the chain on it. Negus showing us off the images of Quint or Sam Quint from. The Jaws line is an 8-inch figure. Soft goods, of course. You got the gun. You got the bat. The beer can. The spear gun. The machete. Really cool looking. Scared for his life here. So with Mezco, you got the Scream Designer Series Ghostface Roto Plush Doll. 18-inch doll. There's your nice scale compared to your normal human body. Nice close up with the face. Sitting on the couch eating popcorn. Here's some good images of that Super 7 reaction figure for Toad Chet from Weird Science. Got a Plesiosaurus here from Camp Cretaceous Jurassic World. Star Wars of Black Series Han Solo and Princess Leia Organa has con exclusive on sale, $24.99 at Target. Got some Legos here. You got the Micro Fighters Series 8 Luke Skywalker and At At Driver versus a Tom Tom. You have the Imperial Shuttle. There's a front and back of the package. Front and back of the shuttle itself, the figures it comes with. Close up of the cockpit there. We have the Resistance X Wing here. Comes with Poe Dameron and BB 8. Nice close up of him. And we have the Invader Zim Series 1 action figures from Diamond Select coming out in June 2021. These are three to four inch figures. One set is the boy disguised Zim with Dib. Another set is the dog disguised Gur with Gaz. And the last one is the Zim and Gur. The toilet there. Interesting looking. Um, also Diamond Select, new Nightmare Before Christmas figures. You get the Under the Stairs coming in June 2021. Creature with the Cyclops, previews exclusive 2-pack. You have the Wave 10 Corpse Mom with Duck Gift. Mr. Hyde with Corpse Dad. And Mrs. Claus with Choir Elf. Very interesting. Ronin Warriors. Cho Chogantado. Sorry, I pronounced, mispronounced that there. Rowan of the Strata. 1 12th scale figure from Sentinel. 
the new Five Nights of Freddy's animatronic chocolate action figures from Funko. So here's Chocolate Freddy, Chocolate Chica, and Chocolate Bonnie. So there's all three in package and loose. From Mo2 Origins, we finally got a shot of Hordak loose. We already had him in package last week, but here he is loose. A couple different angles of him with his bow there. A couple angles of Ninja with his other weapons he comes with the nunchucks, the bow and arrow, and the sword. Of course, him in package as well. A couple more angles of Stratos. Still don't see him in package yet. And from Hot Wheels, you have the Star Wars die cast here of the Mandalorian and the Child Hover Pram. Jumping into a lot of WWE figures, the Championship Showdown 2 Pack Series 3. First off, we have the Fiend and Daniel Bryan going at each other. You see those nice gold stands they have. Front and back of the package. You have the Giant and Ric Flair here going at each other. Gold stands again. Front and back of the package. Front and back of those two figures. And then we have Kane and Edge on the gold stands again. And in the front and the back of the package. There's the front of the figure close up and the back of the figure as well. Next thing we have is the Elite Collection Series 84. First we have Angel Garza in the blue soft goods here. They do come off and show his knee pads and his trunks. We have a Jeff Hardy with the blue face paint here. Front and back of the package. Of course, that top does come off, show off the tattoo, shows the little uh, shirt hanging out of his pocket there, different fists. Got that top that does come off, like I said. And then there's a variant with the red face paint here. Back of the packet, or back of the figure, I should say. Tattoos are different on this one. Got that same thing coming out of his back of his pocket there. With and without the shirt on. We have Buddy Murphy here. This is when he was the disciple of Seth Rollins. Take that Seth Rollins shirt off there. You got him without. Back of the figure, close up with that Seth Rollins shirt. You have Rhea Ripley. A couple different angles of her. Got that leather jacket that can come off. Roman Reigns. Got the soft goods. Wreck everyone and leave shirt. Two different head sculpts. Got the bulletproof vest type thing as well. There's the back of the figure. Front and back of the package. Close-ups of the accessories. Sheamus. Soft goods shirt. Close up of him, got the necklace as well. Really nice. And then we have Selena Vega. Got that nice dress. Headpiece there. This is a collector's edition here. Show the front and the back of the dress. Next we have the WDB Legends Series 10. This is a Target exclusive. Diamond Dallas Page. Front and back of the package. Got the headset on his ears there. Different hands. Got that jacket that can come off or vest, whatever you want to call it. Then you have John Cena. Got him a Vince McMahon puppet. Microphone. Another head sculpt. Different hands. There's a nice close up of both and the puppet. 
Yeah, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Notice right here he's got on blue pants. Got the glasses, the gloves, the belt, the soft goods cape there, or, or uh, smock, or whatever you call it. That does come off. Got the necktie there. Notice, like I said, the blue pants on this version. And then we go over this guy. And we have the yellow pants on this variant. So that's very interesting. Then we have Big Van Vader. Nice. This guy is amazing. Got the different head sculpts. Got the mask that can go on it. Got that huge uh, elephant looking thing he puts on his, over his uh, head there. Really awesome looking. Last we have the WWE Reckon Series 7 with Drew McIntyre with some weights. And the weights bend. You have John Cena with a ladder. You have Roman Reigns with a chair. And you have The Rock with I don't even know what this is. Exercise equipment maybe? Not sure. Next we're jumping into some Transformers third party, the Mastermind Creations R48 Optimus Pexus. Really cool looking prime here. Very futuristic or Cybertronian maybe. Got the Matrix in his chest there. And from Metacom, you have the Mandalorian UDF Grogu, or the Child. Three different head sculpts. Eyes closed, mouth kind of gaping. Mouth closed, got the little ball on a bowl. We got from Hot Topic and GameStop exclusive here from the lawyer subjects to Superma. Last week we shot off an Iron Man, this week we have this Thor figure with the stand there. Avengers Tower in the background, lightning effects. Uh, from Action Figure Insider, Bandai, got the Shoko, Shokugan Collect, your favorite villagers from Animal Crossing. So you got Tom Nook, Isabel, Flick, Dom, Marshall, Lolly, and Flurry. And then cool here, we got a figure of previews world showed off from Figma for the Space Invaders, Monster from the side of the cabinet. So it's pretty cool. It's got the glow in the dark eyes when you uh, rotate the eyes there. So you see the green. There's the side of a game itself, so you can see where this monster came from. And there's the regular white eyes. And this is articulated. There's the back of the figure, and there's, so like I said, the white eyes here compared to the green when they were glow in the dark. And then we've talked about this before and it has made the top 10 in the past, so that's why it doesn't make it again. This is just some better images of the Sentinel Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales. Got him in motion. Got the different costumes you can put on him, the different eyes. Web effects. Really awesome. Alright, so jumping into the honorable mentions for So Super 7 T something about the Thunder Tank. This is not it, of course, but I would love to see Super 7 do the Thunder Tank in their Ultimate slime. For the Thundercats, please. Star Wars Black Series teased a few things. The 501st Trooper coming in 2021, and also Yak Face said that maybe we're going to get a Carner Jax figure. We'll see. Also from Lucasfilm's 50th anniversary, we're going to get some re-releases of some figures from Phantom Menace, Jar Jar Binks, Max Windu. Qui-Gon Jinn, A New Hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Also, we're going to probably get Count Dooku and Jawa re-released on a 50th anniversary card. AEW revealed a few things accidentally. Uh, so, Wave 4 looks like they are going to be Santana, Ortiz, Matt Hardy, Sammy Guevara, and a couple more Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omegas. Now, how did this leak? Somebody showed off the back of the Santana package. Awesome. So for Marvel Legends or Marvel News, we got a few assortment uh, bin numbers here that came out. 
nothing big here kind of go into detail later uh, in the next slide but there are some three and three quarter retro assortments coming out and some mech strike not sure what that's going to be but we'll see let's go into detail on the next thing uh, besides on here the very last one you see is the marvel legends black widow two pack so i wonder what that's going to be there's a little bit more detail came from the whoosh we have the bring on the bad guys wave assortment upcs coming in june 2021 so we pretty much knew about all those except we still don't know who the build figure is going to be uh looks like we got a listing for a legends orchestra coming in august 2021 50 dollars price range we think that's probably going to be maestro from the legends classic x coming in september 2021 no build figure known yet don't know who the wave is seven figures I'm hoping AOA again, maybe Sabretooth, Colossus, Cyclops. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Looking at the top right hand corner, you got the Fantastic Four retro carded six figures coming out. So we'll probably see the four Fantastic Four uh, and a couple of villains. Who knows? Maybe a Mole Man, maybe a Dragon Man. I don't know. Maybe a uh, Puppet Master. That'd be pretty awesome. And then next thing we have is an Infinity Saga. Coming in late summer, early fall 2021. Kind of a high price tag there. Set 6 is Iron Man 1, set 7 is Thor 3, and set 10 is Avengers 4. Uh, what could they be for the Avengers? Maybe Quicksilver from Age of Ultron. For Thor, maybe the War Thor from Endgame. Who knows? Very high prices though on those. From Transformer Studio Series 86, there are some UPC codes leaked for the slag coming with Daniel and the Null figure. So that would be interesting to already build that Null figure. And then also from Transformers 2, you got the Studio Series Grinder with Ravage and Jolt leaked listings here. And then with Super 7, they are doing seven days of teasers. And they gave us this little image here on the left with the seven symbol duplicated here. So the first symbol we definitely know is Thundercats. The second symbol we don't know, maybe assuming Jim and the Holograms. Don't know. The third one looks like Silverhawks. So that'll be exciting to see. Hopefully some Ultimates. Probably Reaction, but I'd love to see the Ultimates in the Silverhawks. Uh, fourth one looks like Godzilla, possibly. Fifth one is Star Trek The Next Generation. Sixth one, we're not sure, maybe Power Rangers. And then the seventh one is their little guy, Mummy Boy mascot. So excited for the next seven days and see uh, what they are going to reveal to us. And also exciting news, this Friday, January 29th, we are getting a Pulse Fan First Friday for Star Wars and the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilms. So excited to see what that's going to bring us. So here we are at the top 10 part of the week. So here are the top 10 best toy reveals of the week. And at number 10, this was originally going to be honorable mention, but Mattel's Jurassic World Amber Collection is leaked that we're getting a Pteranodon, uh, Amber Collection Tiger Raptor, Dr. Ian Malcolm version 2, not sure what that's going to be, and the Ray Arnold, which is Samuel L. Jackson. Now why did this get to be the number 10 spot? Here is a blurry picture of that Pteranodon coming in package for the Amber Collection. Yeah, this is definitely cool from Jurassic Park 3. Finally getting something besides a raptor and can't remember what that other dinosaur was that we did get. At number 9, we got the Jazz Wears new Fortnite Legendary Series. So this is pretty awesome. You got the Meowskles. Here he is in action swords, it's guns, then here is the scientist, all the weapons he has, different face sculpts, and him in action. We have Skull Trooper inverted, all his weapons, and in action, and then we have 8-Ball in action as well, all the weapons it comes with, and Frozen Raven. Also Agent Peely with his nice suit and different face sculpts. So here's all six of those packages. 
So at number eight, we have the Masters of the WWE Universe Wave 6 revealed. We got Goldberg, who are human jackhammer. Or Ram Man, if you want to call him that. Front and back of the card, with his gear all on, with his axe. There's your axe and your helmet on the side, the comic book. Rear of him. There's his uh, helmet off. And you got Kane, Demonic Red Machine, so he's Roboto. Front and back of the card. You can switch out his blaster for a claw instead. So there he is with his claw on. Comic book. There's the back of the figure, close up of him. Then you have Stephanie McMahon, Evil Billion Dollar Skull Queen. Got that skull mask, so she is evil in. Front and back of the card. Close up, taking her gear off. Comic book. And then you have Ultimate Warrior, Heroic Champion of WW Eternia. Front and back of the card, shows his cape. There's his cape off. There's the comic book. Wow, check out that comic book. If they make these dinosaurs, holy cow, that would be amazing. There's the back of the figure with the cape, close up. There's all four in this wave. And number seven, McFarlane revealed another build a figure wave. This is the Joker Bot Build a Figure Wave coming out different times throughout 2021. You take those wings off and notice that you can also flip the head around. You got the Batman head on one side and the Joker head on the other. So, first thing we have here revealed is the Batwoman Beyond coming out in August 2021. Also, revealed that we are getting the Shriek figure here on the left. And then the Blight figure they have not shown us yet. So Shriek will be coming out June 2021. Blight will be coming out October 2021 in order to build this Joker bot build a figure. Not sure why he spread them out, but he did. So here are all the release dates for everyone. And then here is the Batman Beyond figure, which will be coming out first in April 2021 in package. Here's a few images of it from the comics. Nicer images of the figure itself, the Batman Beyond as well. Looks like part of it is going to be a most of it's going to be a Target exclusive. But there are two different versions of the Batman Beyond. The one in the Build a Figure Wave has kind of a mask over his face versus the original release this is going to have the face sculpt there and the jet boots. And here's some nicer images of that. Joker bot. Both faces on it. So 3 Zero is putting out a T-51 Blackbird armor pack from the Fallout line. This is a 1-6 scale collectible. It's a pretty cool looking armor there for this guy. And then we also have the T-45 NCR salvaged power armor from 3 Zero. Check out that Gatling gun. The back of the figure, side of the figure, really cool. Number five, Super Seven revealed Wave Two of their Ultimates for the Conan the Barbarian movie Ultimates. You got the War Paint Conan and the Tulsa Doom with the snake head there. There's the front of the package, the slip cover of it for the Tulsa Doom. Nice showing the snake there with the soft goods on it. There's both Conan and him, three different head sculpts, I guess for the Thulsa Doom, all kinds of accessories. And here's Conan with his sword. Number four, Mythic Legions by the Four Horsemen is doing a tactics war of the Atherblade crowdfunding now. So we get to get, if you do the crowdfunding, you get a deluxe female orc builder set, a deluxe male orc builder set. As you kind of lay out there of the stretch goals and whatnot in the campaign if you want to pause and read over it. You also get the deluxe female orc builder set right here like I said. Closer up look up. And that male orc builder set. Closer up look at it as well. And 
and you get a, a male elf builder set and a female elf builder set. Don't have any good images of the female one yet. And there's some more of the figures that they've showed off. Number three from Mafex Medicom. Coming November 2021 for the, from the boys. You have the Homelander figure, figure here. Got a nice American flag cape. Different head sculpts. Got those glowing red eyes. And then there's the nice version. Really cool. Also from Mafex Medicom, number two you here, you got the Infinity War Doctor Strange. Got that soft goods wire in it cape there. Check out that arm build you can put on him. That is amazing. Got different effect pieces. Different head sculpts. Of course, different hands as well. Nice. There's all those accessories that he does come with. And then at number one from Hot Toys 1 6 scale, the Mandalorian Dark Troopers. Now, guys, you know this is going to be Army Builder because. That was almost impossible for the Mandalorian to beat in the episode. Comes with that figure stand, the guns, the hands. There you go, arm build away. So guys, what do y'all think about this top 10 list for the week? Mentions? Would you guys have put one of the other ones on this list? Did you enjoy this week's reveals? Let me know in the comments. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the top 10 best horror reveals of the week. Leave any kind of comments that you want. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.